Alrighty everyone, I am bringing you guys a quick tutorial on how to get your Twitch streams to be able to be viewed on VLC. This is mainly for those users that want the source of the video or they have a sucky computer and they want the worst of the video to be viewed. Okay, so I'm just going to go through how to get this to VLC today. Um, but I used chatty along with this we'll do another tutorial on chatty later but this video is for getting your stuff to VLC to be able to watch your favorite streamer with the best quality or the worst quality or even audio at that fact okay so first off we're going to start with the files that you need so I'm gonna switch over to show you what you need to download so alright here we go first off you're gonna start with this right here this is the uh, live streamer footage when you get to the page it'll look just like this unless they have updated it if they have updated it then you'll need the newest version so today's date is July 4th happy 4th of July everybody um, so right here you have the link I will have this in the description below okay so when you get here on this page today this is what it looks like and you're gonna scroll down until you find downloads and this top exe is what we're gonna need I've already downloaded it but I'm still gonna go through the methods so you would click it you can see here I've already downloaded it and it's gonna put the one because I've already downloaded it but go ahead and hit save it will save and then you just need to go to the location of where you saved it and then you're gonna open it so for me I saved it in my downloads folder and I will bring this over here for you guys to see here it is right here in my downloads folder notice I have two of them because I just did it but then you're just going to double click on it and it will come up with this screen here it might act a little different for me because I already have it installed but you're gonna hit run then you're gonna get this window here and go ahead and minimize that one you're just gonna click next you're gonna read through this make sure you agree with it I've already made sure I agree with their terms and then next this is fine just like it is hit next this is wherever you want to install it I suggest leaving it where it is so that way the batch works and hit next it's going to install keep in mind I've already installed this so I'm just reinstalling it okay it might take a little second right here and then hit next uh, this is only if you want to uh, edit the configuration file I'll go ahead and leave that but if you don't want to edit the configuration file just take the check out of there and you'll be fine alright um, this is what the configuration file looks like and everything that has this number symbol in front of it is not being used so if you need to downscale anything here would be where you would do it but this is only for advanced users so we're not going to go over that during this tutorial alright next we're going to need to get you VNC viewer okay so here's the link right here it will be in the descriptions below so you just click right here and it has a timer it's gonna count down and then it's gonna pop up this I've already downloaded it I'm not gonna download it again because I've already downloaded it but I'll show you guys it's right here um, so you just double click on it it comes up with this screen this is for PC users too this isn't for this isn't for um, Mac Mac users sorry about that alright so this is the screen that comes up you're just gonna go through next um, it only says this because I've already did it but we're just gonna go through it again okay alright and then you're just gonna you can take the check out of that because we're not gonna run it right now so go ahead and hit finish alright so that's the end of this portion of the tutorial so we're gonna minimize this and we're gonna go to the the batch file okay so for the batch file what you need to do is you need to 
you need to right click on the screen and of course my my capture device is not is not capturing it for you but okay let me grab this real quick let me get the capture device to capture at least this footage here I thought I had this already set up but I guess I didn't so you're just gonna create get a notepad off of your desktop alright and I'm gonna have this below uh, this is all the information this is uh, this is for YouTube um, okay so this is the information that's below um, and you can put this exactly like it is and when you go to when you go to file you're gonna save as and save it to your desktop and you're gonna change this to all files and then what I like to do is I put the name of the streamer and then you put dot bat it's very very important that you put dot bat but it's gotta have all files here and then dot bat here okay and then you just click save uh, I already have it saved so it was asking me if I wanted to override it alright so let's go back up here so here's the dot fi the dot bat that we just made right here so I'm just gonna run this alright so, so let's, let's go, go back, back up, up here. here so here's the dot fi the dot bat okay sorry about that so yeah that's what it does it opens this up like this and you'll be able to you'll be able to watch your streamer and that quality was at source that quality was at source let me get back to the video this this right here so that quality was at source I have right here what the main different options you can use so I forgot to add audio though I'll make sure I put that in the uh, in the description for you guys but you can change this to anything so to like best and you just save it and you run it again okay so it will run it will run this guy so here to like, like best, best. let me and turn the audio off again it will run this right here so this will stay open you need to leave this open this is a command prompt so you need to leave that open and then of course of course you'll see the video there uh, that's what's going on but we're gonna go ahead and close it and close that there all right <clears throat> so I, I left this open right here so we could find somebody that I am following that is currently streaming I'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh all right so Drew is right here so let me go ahead <clears throat> so we're gonna change this to his so his name it will go here so we just take mine out and we put Drew and then his number is 312 that's behind it so we got it just like that we'll leave it at we'll change this to to worst just to show you guys that it still looks great quality but it is uh, it is using less resources okay so let me switch back over and then I still have it as this file because I saved it over mine so we're just going to just going to run it okay it's running now so <laughs> Here's here's Drew, and that's a little void uh, problem right there. You can't you can't really neglect that, but usually the quality, even in worst, is the best quality. Is like a very good quality, even if you have a bad connection. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change his back to the best. So I'm literally just gonna change it to source actually. So we'll just change this right here. Make sure you're not highlighting anything extra. And just highlight over this and change it to source, just like that. All right, hit save. And <clears throat> we're going to run it again. So that way you guys can see. All right, this is his in source. Hmm. 
Hm? Let's see if he'll say hi to YouTube really quick for us. I did get his permission before I did this video. So we'll see if we can get him to say hi to YouTube real quick. Is I wanted to let you guys know that it adds a little bit more of a delay to their video other than what Twitch is putting on there. <clears throat> Hello YouTube. Alright, he said hey to you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and close this real quick. But that's the tutorial and a wrap right there. Hopefully, hopefully you guys have in, enjoyed this uh, tutorial and have a great day. Make sure you click like and comment below if this helped you out in any way. Bye.